An allergic reaction occurs when your immune system reacts with foreign substance, even though it may not normally be harmful to the human body. We spoke with a doctor from Allergenics Allergy, Asthma and Sinus Clinic. Here's the report in tonight's Health Check. The effects of allergies include inflamed skin, sinuses, airways or digestive system. The severity of allergies can range from minor irritation to anaphylaxis, a potentially life-threatening emergency. But rest assured, while most allergies cannot be cured, treatments can help relieve symptoms. Allergist Dr. Vishal Asunarine from Allergenics says in this country there is a hefty percentage of people suffering from these sensitivities. Allergies are definitely a major problem. We have a prevalence of up to 10% of our population having allergies. Now, allergies can be as simple as allergies to food and stuff, or we can have eczema, we can have atopic disease in general, things like asthma as well. I know that we have a high well, prevalence of asthma in our country as well. Dr. Sunarain says while there are many triggers, hereditary factors can be a big influence. So if your parents had uh, asthma and allergies, chances are you're gonna get allergies as well. Um, there's a small genetic, there's a genetic component as well as there's a small environmental component to it. The environment, she says, can contain not only pollutants in the air, but also the ubiquitous Sahara dust. I sneeze so much with the Sahara dust now, but yes, um, Sahara dust as well as air quality levels also affect if you have um, uh, any respiratory allergies. These are caused by proteins in the air that are inhaled and they trigger airway inflammation. They may be due to specific allergic reactions or more general reactions to irritants such as smoke and fumes. Dr. Sino Ryan explains what happens to the body when it is invaded by a trigger substance. So an allergy is something similar to autoimmune disease, right? So an allergy is your body reacting to something external to it that it shouldn't normally react to. That to normal people, it's innocuous, it's not harmful, it's as simple as eating a banana and reacting, right? So it's your body recognizing it as, as harmful and dangerous and that's the difference it's recognizing it as dangerous and now it's producing a chemical response to that dr suna ryan says there are some useful tips which can help protect us against allergies and allergic reactions ideally as an allergist we, we want to make sure that um, we limit our carpets in our house we wash our drapes often we uh, make sure we have good mattress protectors we can wash our pillows the allergist says emergencies can arise where the tissues swell and inflammation may enter the throat or affected area, causing difficulty with breathing. Her warning is clear. In an emergency situation, always call and ask for help. The biggest thing I can tell you is always find a doctor if you're not sure what you should be, what you should be doing, if the, that person has any swelling of the lip, tightening of the throat, anything like that, um, or once there are two or more systems, you go to a doctor. Don't wait at home. Don't say, oh, it'll go away. It's best to be safe. I'm sorry.